One of the benefits of high speed ferries is that the same features that are necessary for reaching high speeds, such as highly efficient hull forms and lightweight materials, also result in relatively lower fuel consumptions at more moderate speeds. When combined with low emission or zero emission maritime fuel technology, a new generation high speed Ropex ferry can be designed with an eye towards future compliance and lowering through life operating costs. Looking to the future and ensuring flexibility are important considerations when it's clear that multiple maritime fuels and technologies will be necessary for the decarbonisation of shipping. Electrification is an exciting technology for high-speed Ropax ferries, but it cannot be the only maritime fuel considered, as it is simply not practical for many ferry operators today. To get the most out of an electric high-speed Ropax ferry, a high level of optimisation to a specific route will be necessary, which for some operators may mean losing the flexibility of moving vessels within their fleet. New generation ferries will need to be flexible, both in terms of the maritime fuels that they use and their ability to accept or be reconfigured for future technologies. Every ferry operator is different and looking to differentiate from their competitors. So why should we expect high-speed Ropax ferries to be the same? The future high-speed Ropax ferry market has to be made up of different maritime fuels and technologies to suit the different requirements of ferry operators. In the last 12 months alone, we've worked with ferry operators on concepts at varying technology readiness levels for electric, hydrogen, methanol, different biodiesel types, and hybrid solutions.